Hey everybody, it's Michelle and I had a request from my miniature embellishment swap video that I did to show how I made these little parasol umbrellas or whatever. This is not the one that I sent. I made this size, which were smaller. This is one I had from a long time ago, but um, needless to say, I'm going to show you how I made them. These are two different ways. This one's just with a piece of um, toothpick. This one I made out of clay. So let's get started. Um, you can make them any size you want. They're very easy. And I'll show you how I made the one out of clay first. And so all I did was I used some Primo Sculpey clay. You can use any type of clay you want that's oven baked. I took a little piece and I just worked it until it was soft. And then I, um, I rolled it into a little tube. I've already baked this piece. Um, I tried two different ways. I made a handle and I just put the clay on the toothpick and baked it. This one's going to be a bigger one. So it's already hard. And then I just, but let me show you in case. So I just work it until it gets soft. And then, um, roll it out you don't have to use a lot of pressure in fact you're better off not just roll it with your finger until it's the thickness you want the length you want and I'm not going to make this one as thin as I would and then when you get to the end kind of and you can cut it off if you mess it up and make it um, you know too short if it's too long and then I kind of roll the end into a little point because you want a tip. And then just form the top, make it straight, and then form the top like a, you know, handle of an umbrella. And then I scoop it up and I put it on my baking tray and I bake it uh, for, I you know, on the temperature that it says on here, which is usually, I usually do mine at like 260 degrees in my clay toaster oven. And I just bake that for about 15 to 30 minutes, you know, and then it comes out straight and hard, so then you have something to work with. But anyways, here's one that I've already baked. Um, and like I said, this one's just from a toothpick. And this one, I just used a toothpick and I glued a bead on. This was a, a little teardrop bead that I had and it slid right on and then I put a bead on the tip that slid on. Okay, so then what I do is I have this pretty lace and I had bought this years ago and I use it for my embellishments and here you can see I have like a huge I bought like two yards of it I bought it in cream and black and white at Joann's and when it was on sale and I just cut it up in little little pieces and use it for my embellishments and stuff so yeah I've had it for a very long time and I use it I made other stuff with it in previous videos you've probably seen so what I do is um, I cut just a little square of it and you can also use tool. In fact, I was going to use tool just for the color sake. So let's do that. This is just a spool of tool and I just want to cut a square and you can actually use tool and then put that over it too, make different colors. So anyways, for this video, I'm just going to use this blue one. For this one, I used actually this lace, but I sprayed it with my um, Lindy Stamp Gang stains and made it brown and sparkly, vintagey. This one, I used a, some sparkly tool, white tool with glitter on it, and I just glued a piece of lace around the end. But anyways, so for this video, I'm just going to do a square of tool and fold it in half. I like to fold it in half and then as all as I do I have my glue gun over here plugged in. I'm gonna work with this bigger one and you can I should paint this white or whatever if it's gonna show and see through if not then don't worry about it. I'm not gonna do it for the video you could just use your imagination. Anyways just poke a little hole through it so you have the tip exposed like that it's folded in half 
center it down, I fold it up, and just gather it like that. And then turn it and twist it. Now what I do is once I get it to the way I like it, I'm going to hold it on the bottom tip. And I'm just going to take a little bit of glue with my hot glue gun, because I don't want this all gluey, and just put a little bit of glue there so that that tip, and I'm going to hold it just so it's, see now it's kind of glued like that. And then you just want to turn and twist it and pinch it and turn it. So it's kind of tight and just make it look like, you know, it would look like an umbrella, um, uh, an umbrella closed up. This one's not looking so good as the way I like it, but so you can readjust it, wrap it around. You kind of want it puffy. There, that looks good. Okay, so then I take, I'm going to hold it so you can see how it's looking. And I'm going to take a piece of thin ribbon. If I can find the end, here we go. I got a pin in there to hold it. And I cut a big piece because I don't want to, and it's real thin. It is um, one eighth of an inch. And I just cut a big piece because I don't. And I lay it down. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Kind of got to use. Sometimes I use my teeth and tie it close to the, um, there we go, see? So now that's all secure in there and I got a lot to use. Sometimes I don't mess with doing a bow because um, this really little and so I kind of tie it in a double knot. There we go. And then I'll cut just to make the little strings. Can you hear? They're playing video games downstairs. <clears throat> so they sound obnoxious, but that's okay. And then um, I'll take a little bit of my hot glue and just put a smidgen on that ribbon so I can tuck it down so then it's laying flat like that and it's not going to move. Okay, so these are long and not looking so good. And then as all I do is I take my little scissors and just trim it. Don't cut your cane off. And just trim it so it looks ruffly. It's so hard to work on video. I want to hold it up to my eyes so I can see it, but I gotta hold it down here. Oop, I grabbed the wrong scissors. Okay, now I kinda that's kinda out. Um, a good tip for doing miniatures is I take glue, tacky glue, usually I work with. This is all I have in my hands right now. Actually, I'm going to use this tacky glue right here. Normally I work on my desk, but I have this mat for... Um, I haven't even opened this yet. There we go. Just squirt a glue and get yourself a toothpick. I always keep toothpicks handy for doing this little detail work. And I dip the toothpick in my glue. And because I missed that in the ribbon, that little piece there, I'm just going to touch it with some tacky glue and it will dry clear. And then hold it down just so it stays down. And I'm not going to wait for this to dry because we'll never get through a video. But yeah, so when I'm doing it off camera, you can work with it and make it neater, but 
That's your best friend as a toothpick when you're doing miniatures. Okay, so there we have the umbrella. And now you t you can embellish it with anything you want. Um, you can add some more lace. You could put, if you wanted to, add this lace on top of it. Doing it the same way that I did it. And I'm going to... I have these little... Um, what do I do with them? You can use beads, you can use these little tiny flowers. Let me see how this bigger one looks. I kind of like that on there. Oh, or I have these little pearl centers. You know, they're just little beads. You could glue that on there. For this one, I'm going to do this flower, just so you could see it better. And if you don't want to work with hot glue, you can you do this with tacky glue. It just takes longer to dry. And like I said, you just put it on with your toothpick and glue it on there. And so we got that. And um, <clears throat> let's see here. Aren't they obnoxious down there? Can you hear them, I wonder? Actually, I'm going to, I'll show you with my toothpick I'm just going to put a little bit of tacky glue in the center of that flower and tweezers are your best friend too when you're doing this stuff but to place these things and I'm just going to put that one in the center isn't that cute and then for the tip you can do a pearl you have to have a hole in it I could do that and then cut the tip off or paint the tip white and let the tip show out so there you go there is a quick tutorial on how I did that um, there's that one that I made really small I didn't put any pearl on the tip I just left it showing this one's out of a toothpick and I added a pearl on the bottom and for the handle this one I made the cane handle and normally I would have this painted white but there it is, and you can embellish cards with this, or um, even layouts, scrapbooking layouts, or your dollhouses, if you're into dollhouses. And, you know, if you are, you could put it in a little um, spool or something and make a little vase and put it by the front door of your dollhouse. This one is, how big did I make? Oh, I don't know here. Where's my inches? This one's four inches. You can see on my finger, it lays right with my finger. So yeah, there we go. And then this one is much smaller. So you can make them all different sizes. Just use your imagination and whatever. You know, there's no, you just got to fold it and glue it. It's just, um, it's really that easy. So yeah, that would be cute on a card with magnolia stamps and stuff. For embellishing with flowers around it or even a bridal shower card or an invitation all right i hope you like the tutorial give me a thumbs up if you do if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them i do try to comment back uh sometimes life gets in the way and i might i'm not ignoring anybody i appreciate um all of you and uh, let me know how you like it all right thanks guys bye